so guys i am a verified educator on an online learning platform called on academy right where i am making courses for gate examination both in hindi and english right so you can download the on academy learning app search my name over there act and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination right so a very good evening to all of you and i wish you all the very best for the tifr exam that is tomorrow now uh, finally i just want to tell you one thing okay this is very important it's a conceptual exam so no matter how much hard work you do in the end it will matter how you can apply whatever concepts you have studied right it is not about hard work csi net exam or any other exam for that matter can be cracked with hard work but tifr exam requires more than some something more than hard work it cannot be just cracked by hard work you need to be very good conceptually or you need to have an analytical mind to crack this exam as simple as that now the truth is this uh, exam is going to be for 3 hours right and trust me in 45 minutes within 45 minutes you will solve all the questions that you know right there will be 6 7 8 9, maximum to maximum 9 or at max 10 questions that you that you are sure that you know you know the answer to these rest of the 30 questions that you are going to attempt they are going to be purely on your how you are able to apply the concept you would not know the answer to these 30 questions at the first go okay in csi net exam what happens you look at the question and you know the answer okay this concept i have studied that will not happen in tif exam in tif exam within 45 minutes you will finish all those questions which you know the direct answers to next 2 and 2 hours 2 and hours 2 hours 15 minutes you will be solving questions and applying your analytical skills your knowledge whatever you have studied before your concepts to come up with the answer that's the truth about tifr exam right so this exam should you know should scare you the least because you can't do anything about it right if your concepts are good uh, if your basics are great you will be able to do well in the exam no matter what and even if someone is working very hard you cannot guarantee that he will crack the exam you cannot guarantee right so uh, there there are few topics that i'll just tell you i have analyzed the last term uh, Six, seven year uh, papers since 2010. In fact, I've analyzed the question papers. And uh, XRD is something that you need to do, right? XRD. So, like, a lot of questions are being asked in XRD. Like, for example, why cannot we accurately detect the uh, position of hydrogen in XRD, right? Because hydrogen does not scatter the um, X rays very much, right? So, some some very conceptual questions from XRD. Uh, then your Taylor series, okay? Uh, these kind of questions, Taylor series, infinite series. Uh, what is the basic formula for that? uh then graphs like for example there are questions like if x is equal to y square plot the graph for x equal to y square so something like that uh you know from mathematics then matrices and determinants is there i have written down some few facts right then uh, spectroscopy do it really well molecular spectroscopy especially your um raman spectroscopy your rotational and your vibrational spectroscopy do them well not the formulas you don't have to memorize the formulas just the um you can say uh you know the selection rule uh, in what what molecules are rotationally active what molecules are vibrationally active right so something like that you understand not the numericals I'm, do not focus much on the numerical part except for thermo in thermodynamics a lot of numericals are there where you have to memorize the formulas but apart from that kinetics is also much uh, is quite based on your concepts okay they are generally ask you to write a rate constant in terms of other rate constants like that so there there will be no formula that can help you in solving questions from kinetics right so that's why i was saying it's conceptual just try and understand the basics how things are working because the the kind of system that they're going to give you over there or the kind of question that they're going to give you over there you would not have seen such questions in any book or you won't have practiced such question so you can only solve those questions if your basics are good right so that's why i'm again and again uh stressing on the fact that your basic should be a uh, good except for thermo right then please do oxidation reduction potentials this is a very typical and common question from organic you will see questions on basicity acid, acid, acidity and again you are they test your general organic chemistry no no fancy name reactions will be there very simple name reactions even if they come as it is right um then um do the jablonski diagram what all right intersystem crossing interconversion phosphorescence fluorescence then from uv spectroscopy this kind of questions are quite common based on a bier lambert's law a numerical based on uh, bier lambert's law so make sure that you revise that well right so this is all that you have to do rns configurations for spiranes biphenyls alenes right so all these topics that's it nothing nothing fancy just uh, 
keep your basics right and i think you'll be easily able to crack this exam right so 40 questions are there uh, try and get at least 20 22 correct uh, i think that would be good, good enough for you to uh, to qualify for the interviews right so anyway all the very best and uh, do let me know tomorrow how your exam went right